So this video is probably titled something like I buy my girlfriend or my girlfriend buys me weird Nintendo Switch accessories. However, we've both bought things for each other this time and they're really not that weird. Some of them are weird, but they're actually mostly cool. They're things that I actually am going to use and you might actually find some stuff that you might like and you might buy or not. I don't know. Do you want to say something? <laughs> Where did you buy these things? I bought them from a mix of Amazon and Etsy and AliExpress and like all over the place. Like some of it's bootleg stuff? Yeah, some okay. of it's bootleg, some okay. of it's knockoff, and then some of it is is fairly legit, like Amazon legit. Anyway, let's just start. Okay. Okay, so the first thing, well, there's actually two of them, which is great because you can do one and I'll do one at the same time. They are real wood cases. And I have been very, very excited for these. I don't know which is which, so you take your pick and you're gonna try putting one on your Switch, I'm gonna try putting one on mine. Oh, are they different colors? They're different designs and different wood grains. Okay. Oh, that one's cool. I know. Okay. They're both really cool. Oh, you might want this one. It's the Zelda. Um, they're probably both Zelda, knowing me. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, they're both Zelda. They're both cool. You have that one, though. <laughs> You're right, I did like this one more. They probably work best on gray Joy-Cons because I think you're gonna see some blue. Yeah, you're gonna see my, my blue Joy-Cons poking out from underneath. I mean, does it look bad with this one? No, that actually looks actually pretty nice. Like yeah. Well, that was really easy to fit on. Again, I think it would look way better with gray Joy-Cons. I don't think it looks bad with the blue though, since it's Zelda, it kind of makes sense. You know what? Yeah, it kind of does have it that looks like cool. the Breath of the Wild look to it yeah. too. It feels a little like strange. Overall, I think that's a really cool one. I feel like this kind of works with the Pokemon thing too, because it looks like little unknown symbols. Yeah. So I'm good with that. I you really, I I agreed. I said yeah. <laughs> All right, that's one down. So believe it or not. These little guys eat way more than we do. And to keep them fed, we like to use the help of sponsors like Skillshare. <laughs> he says I'm out of here. He's gone. These are spoilers. I'm gonna have to blur all this out. If you didn't know, Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, video editing, video production. And I always stress those ones the most. I don't have to, I don't need to, but I think it's very relevant for what I do here. If you wanna make YouTube videos like this and you have no idea where to start, then, you know, look at Skillshare. And Skillshare is super affordable, less than $10 a month. The first 500 of you to click that link down below, as always, gets two months free. So you just, just hurry up because people are beating you to the punch already. But don't leave the video. Keep watching the video. Just click that link, do what you need to do, and come right back. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Secret handshake. Uh, you told me to get this one. This was, I don't know if you remember. Oh, yeah, this is one of my favorite stupid things. You I've found this seen. hilarious. I love it so much. Okay, so what it is. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk until I have finished. It's a Pokeball case. And you would assume, you know, off the bat, well, what are you gonna put in a tiny case as a Switch accessory? It would probably be Switch cards, right? You'd think that. You would store them. It's for him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one of those Russian, is it called nesting, nesting dolls? <laughs> I kind of want like an even bigger Pokeball that you could put this one into. I mean, you do have to protect it, I guess. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. I would rate this higher than these at the oh! No. <laughs> no. He's front runner for me. So. Okay. Um, well, we should be ranking that. these because we usually do. And my vote is this way up there at number one, but we can put them together as number one. <laughs> Secret handshake time. Stop it. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll do a weird one as that's probably what I did for the title. Can you actually tell what this is for starters and what it's for? Is it an oven mitt? <laughs> no, but I could totally see that. Yeah, I mean, yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> is this Scarborough Fair on the other side? Yes. Why? Do you know what game this is from to start with? No. Not a freaking clue, this is a Christian family channel. Kimberly, it is from Bayonetta. It's, I mean, okay, we'll put two and two together. It's a Switch accessory, you can sh shove something in there. What do you think it is? Wow, okay. Well, <laughs> well, there you go, it does fit. I don't like the way that sounded. Oh, you like it? Yeah, no, oh, I great. think it's really cool. Everything's in the number one spot right now. Excuse me. We have a very strong disagreement on the cases at this point. What don't you like about this? 
I'm not even sure if this is like actual. I mean, I don't know if they sp if they said on the listing it is real wood. I just it thought it's on the box. It's on the box. That's true. <laughs> That's true. But hey. I still think it looks really cool, and I'm pretty sure it is real wood. All right. Well, <laughs> since we have so many winners right now, and I saw that. How about we do... I think this is the only thing I ordered that is probably just... Bad? Pointless? I don't... I mean, it depends. Here's the thing. There's no game that th actually this would benefit from outside of Japan. So this is really pointless, but I just wanted to get one. It would probably really come in handy when you're on the eShop or like pumping oh, yeah. in game codes or something like that. In. I don't know. <laughs> <What> do <you laughs> mean? No. Well, now it's the worst because it's not working. <laughs> I guess it just doesn't work outside of games, which makes it very pointless to me. So it's all the way down here. What a great purchase. Moving on. These next ones I was actually pretty excited about, and now I'm looking at them. I don't know why. They're Joy Con straps. Why were you excited about this? I had these. They came with your Switch. The only official Joy Con straps you can get are black. Right. And these are colored and you can actually get them in any color online and so i thought it'd be really cool since i have blue joy cons now to get a blue and red one Ooh, the gap Aye. and it's not even the same blue you have one job one job moving on all right anyway oh, you can get these in all different kinds of colors i'll leave links down below but be aware that the <laughs> colors don't <laughs> I'm trying, okay? Technically, the next cool accessory, wow, I'm out of breath, is this. Oh, you got one of the connectors. Wait to roll on it. Yeah, <laughs> I got one of these. Um, actually, I went, I ran downstairs to get this controller, but I'm pretty sure this is only gonna work when it's hooked up to a dock. Little Mario brick design. And when you open it, Anyway, we're gonna have to go downstairs with this so I can show you how it actually works. So let's do that. I'll do that later. Please leave that in. <laughs> All right, now this 8-bit do controller thing. I am really impressed by this. I tried to just set it up to test it out and immediately plugged the little USB into the dock, went to the sync up new controller option, pressed like the options button and the home button at the same time, bada bing bada boom, I'm using my PlayStation 4 controller on my Switch. I loaded up Resident Evil and all the button layout is just perfectly replicated from a Pro Controller or a Joy-Con or anything. It's just automatically mapped everything the way it should be and everything works. The home button goes back to the Switch's home screen. The only thing that's really weird to get my head around is uh, obviously on Switch, the A button and the B button is backwards from the X and the O. Yeah, it works perfectly. I actually feel like I am playing my PlayStation right now, not my Switch. It's really weird to get my brain around it. Another amendum had been playing around with this wireless keyboard. It took so much effort to get this to work right, so much so that I hate the thing, but I finally managed to get it to work. Um, a big reason why it wasn't working is because there's a little USB thing that was actually hidden inside here behind the uh, Joy-Con, which I didn't see. But then I had to go through a whole bunch of crap syncing it, and eventually it worked after I looked up tutorials, so it does work pretty well, I guess. The buttons are so small that my fat thumbs try to press like five at a time. But it's, it's definitely much faster than trying to do it without it. And we're back! And we didn't actually go anywhere or do anything yet. So I don't know how that worked. Hopefully it worked great. This is the next one. I wanna... I'm just gonna... Whatever. This video is falling apart. <laughs> but I saw this one online and thought it was nifty. It's made from leather. So there's leather. that. Leather. I, I kind of like how the Joy-Con stick out. <laughs> it's adorable. It's supposed to in some way... There you go. I put it in upside down, but you can't see that. Um, I like it. Yeah, cool. All right, moving on. <laughs> Rank it about here with the ball. You really like it. Way the hell over there. Can you stop with these are so good. Like, you're right, you know, we'll put them front and center so everyone remembers how amazing they are. Amazing that they can write real wood on the package and not mean it at all. I am 90% sure it is real wood. I'm 90% sure. Yeah, wrong. You remember this one? You told me to buy this yeah, one. Yeah, I love this one. Very excited. Pants. Look at stupid pants. 
I like it. It's so, so it's good. Mario's overalls. Yeah, but it's like the big case that everybody likes. It's got a nice texture to this bottom and nice smooth to this top. But out of all the cases I've seen, this is definitely one of the best for actually storing your Switch. Look at that! Ugh. Oh, smell that. I don't know what that smells like. Really good though. Shoes. Yeah, it does smell like shoes. <laughs> But new shoes, <laughs> that smell of getting yeah, those not old shoes. crisp new shoes. Yeah, I smells like uh, walking into a Payless store, RIP Payless. Never been. Really? Don't know what you're talking about. You didn't have those? So there's a spot for your Switch and I love how snug and perfect to, and the, all this friggin' padding here, ain't nothing happening to that bad boy. You can throw a pro controller in here, your dock fits perfectly in here. I'm gonna guess uh, that that is for these. It's literally your, your entire Switch can yeah. fit in here. And uh, that would be for your charge cord. Yes. What well, does it fit in here? Hey! <laughs> this is this is adorable. It's Great. not something I personally have a use for, but if I, I ever end up taking my entire Switch set up anywhere... And a strap if you want to wear it as a purse. And I'm definitely taking it this way. I'm saving my favorite until last. But the, my favorite might not even work. I'm kind of expecting it not to work because it's one of the knockoffs from um, AliExpress or Wish or wherever I bought it from. This is another thing that you found. Oh, the thing that charges all the things. Okay. Did you want to return it? Because no. I, I totally just ruined the packaging. So it's a nifty little charging stand. Um, and for those out there that only have a few Switch games and they don't have like 200 of them, and you want to keep them all in one handy location right near your Switch, this will be perfect for you. It charges everything Switch related that you have in your life. What does it charge? It charges your Pro Controller, contains your ball. I don't know if it charges. I don't think it charges the ball. And you can clip it all to the back of the Switch. Would you like the instructions? No, nah, because I can't be bothered. Um, here's the picture. <laughs> Actually, you, wanna, you, know, you know what we could do? You do that, you build this thing. Okay. I have complete faith to keep this video moving along since I bought so much stuff. I'm just gonna tackle my favorite thing now. In my hand right now, as crazy as it is to think, I have like 30 amiibos. Oh, interesting. Oh, what is it you might be asking? How can you fit 30 amiibos in the palm of your hand? Well, no, I'm not Gamester81. I don't have the world's largest hands. They're actually, tiny little cards that apparently work as amiibos and for the purpose of this video I have intentionally not used them because I wanted to see if they worked on camera. They're really nifty. The little designs on them are like their own little character I guess they made but dressed up as all the different amiibo characters. Oh, so I think all of the ones I bought are Breath of the Wild ones. It looks like I have all of the Guardian people. What were they called? Excuse me, princess. Uh, where does this go? Uh. Okay, so hopefully I cut out the last like 10 minutes of this video because it took us both a while to get to this point. But I'm gonna try, I guess, one of the Zelda ones. There it is. <gasps> it worked. It worked. That's so cool. Um. Okay, let me try another one. <laughs> That's so cool. Well, I could get so much free stuff out of all of these. I really like these because, for one, they're really cheap. And I don't like opening my amiibos. Then it's a really cheap way of me having amiibos that I can actually use. I'm not sure what other ones they've got, but I'm assuming you could get pretty much any of them like this. And they did a really good job with the designs too. It is cool. I actually do like it. I kind of want to... I mean, well, it kind of looks like it would go in a car in like the center console. Yeah, it does. I do. I mean, I don't hate it. I think well, if you if you only had a few games, well, I mean, you could just keep the games you're playing yeah. with your dock. So what what do go in here? Where's the picture? Oh, that. Oh, weird. Um, you know how I just finally managed to buy those NES uh, oh, controllers? It's for, it's for those, but it looks like it's specifically for the Famicom ones because the Famicom ones have this very specific design that has that nut that notch there. It's just something that no one has. Because nobody's gonna have this either. Well, I mean, they might after this video. Links down below. Oh, actually. I am an Amazon affiliate. I could link am oh. my Amazon links and then if you go and buy it oh. through my link, I'll get Amazon money. So this next one, we're gonna have to go out to the car. Um, oh, you got one of those things. Yeah. So well, let's go, let's go to the car. Very easily. 
Okay. There we go. Oh, that doesn't look great. It's like 90 degrees out here and I'm exhausted from setting this up. But I mean, this would be really great on road trips. Like legitimately, if I go on another road trip and like Billy's driving or whatever, I'm totally taking the back seat for a change and just sitting back here and playing Switch like this. This is freaking awesome. You haven't need a long one. You just need a charge cord, plug it in, and you have endless Switch playing time on charge while you drive. And it really is as simple as strapping this elastic band around here. Now I've messed it up, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that one. What do you think? I mean, I think it'd be really good for parents. Yeah, I mean, because you got Hulu on here, you could hotspot to your phone, your kids could watch Hulu in the back seat too. Oh, I wouldn't. That'll eat your dad up so fast. Well, not if you're me and you have unlimited. 70 bucks a month, T-Mobile. Not a sponsor. Also, this would definitely work in a car that had better head rests. I imagine most people's headrests don't look like a friggin' sideways ice cream cone. Great, cool. Let's go back in the house. It's really hot out here. And we didn't go to the car, but we ha you watched us there. We were there. We did it at some point, just not yet. That's the magic of cinema. This isn't the cinema. I will admit that I was really excited for these Amiibo cards, and they lived up to my expectations. They were my thing I was probably most excited for out of all of this, but this, weirdly enough, was the thing I was secondly most excited for. So this advertised itself as the world's smallest, slimmest, um, most invisible Invisalign Nintendo Switch case. It is so thin that it's supposed to be really the only case that you can actually leave on your Switch and still put in the dock without having to take the case off. And I believe that just holding this because feel how flimsy that is. I'm really hoping that this all comes together in a way that doesn't feel cheap. There is almost no space in between the dock and the Switch. So just hearing that, impressed me. You can have your Joy-Con color, you can have the Switch's color, but still have it be protected. And I just thought it looked really nice covered in this, this glass look over it, almost gave it like a really neat look to it. Like, don't you think that that, that shimmer and that shine, it kind of makes it look a little nicer in a way. You hate it, don't you? It reminds me of plastic slip coverage you put on a couch. You don't like it? I actually really like it. It looks like like the packaging that you buy it in. I actually really like it. it. Like to me, it looks like, like it's VGA graded. Like it's been put in this protective case. Yeah, that's kind of. To yeah. keep it looking like pristine and perfect. The whole gimmick to this thing, other than looking kind of nifty in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, it, it actually, it makes it really sturdy in there. Okay, that's all of it. I think all of this is really cool. But if you had to pick a favorite, which would it be? Oh, me. Yeah. It's between the box and the stupid carrying case. That's really cool too, though. I'm like, oh, that. this case, the, no, the real wood case. No, nope. mm. I really like all these little amiibo cards. I really like this little plastic case. Honestly, I'm gonna be completely honest. My favorite thing is these. I know you hate them, but I, I just love the way they look. But each to their own. And that's the fantastic thing about life oh. is that you can all make your own choices. You can all oh. live by the seat of your own pants you can all um, screw yourselves. If you don't like this video, <laughs> <laughs> like this video or hair flip. You wanna do it, Simi? Hair flip <laughs> all over that subscribe button. I love you all no matter what. Some people don't like zombies, that's fine. Oh, thank you, Kim, oh, for being in this video. I always, yeah, these are always my favorites when you're in the video. Bye. Oh, I delete that. <laughs>